Hi, I'm Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. Norm, Raiders of the Lost Ark is one of my favorite movies. Coincidence, it's also one of my favorite movies. And you know why it's awesome? Because Indiana Jones carries a bullwhip. He's an archeologist and he carries a bullwhip with him every day. Bullwhips make awesome sounds, cracking sounds. Yeah, and do you know why they do that? Because, oh I read on the internet, that the tail end of a bullwhip, uh -huh. also known as a popper, or a breaks cracker. the speed of sound. It creates a mini sonic boom. I don't think that's true, but I think we can test it. We can definitely test that. Well, first of all, we need to crack a bullwhip. Can you crack a bullwhip? Uh, I don't know, maybe, why not? It doesn't look that hard. Yeah. Can you crack a bullwhip? I, I don't know, but first we need a bullwhip. I have a whip right here. Let's get cracking. Stop whipping yourself. If you got yourself in your face, you're gonna really... And three, two, one. Whoop, whoop. Ow. Oh. Well, why do you have a big shopping board? Uh, this is actually gonna be a ruler. We're gonna make a giant ruler out of this mm. so we can measure how far the head of the whip moves as I am successfully cracking the whip. Since you can crack the bull whip. Since I can crack the bull whip and <laughs> someone else here can't quite get it down. <laughs> oh, this is sad. Okay, I can't do this. Awesome, we got the footage, let's head back to the office and do the math. But you know, while we have the camera, the high-speed camera, and the novelty oversized ruler, I think we should test something else out. Hmm. Oh, I also read on the internet that a snapping towel will break the sound barrier. You know, I have a towel right now. Let's go test it out. Three, two, one. That was uncomfortable. For everyone involved. But we do have the footage, so let's really do the math now. Yeah, back to the office. Ah. All right, we're back in the office. We have all the footage, slow motion, high speed footage. What are we looking for? Well, we want to see first is figure out what the fast part of the bullwhip motion is. You, if you watch the high speed video, which I've watched a lot of high speed video in the last few days, basically there's a standing wave in the whip, mm -hmm. and then when it reaches the end, there's a coil. Uh, it loops over on itself, and the cracker, which is the smallest part of the whip, we broke our Ours whip, broke off. we over whipped, it turns out. Um, the cracker loops back in, and that loop closes, and from both the research I've read and from what I've seen in the videos that we shot, that seems to be the fastest movement. 
So, so it's not only which physical part of the whip, but also where in the actual extension. Where in the mo motion. So the standing wave goes down the whip, it closes, that loop forms, and then wham, it goes really fast at the end. So how do you use a high-speed camera to tell how fast something's moving? Right, so at the frame rates we shot at, 480 frames per right. second, or 960 frames per second, mm -hmm. each frame that you pick out is indicating... It's a, it's a specific frequency of time, amount of time that's captured. So at 480 frames a second, it's about two th thousandths of a second per frame. So what we can do is assume that the interval between each frame is about two thousandths of a second. So that gives you an amount of time. And then from there, you just measure the distance using our giant oversized novelty ruler mm -hmm. and some Photoshop trickery to tell how far something's gone, and then divide that by the amount of time it took, which gives you a number that you should be able to use to figure out the relative velocity of the end of the whip in this case. So between our two most optimal frames we chose, what was the speed we calculated? Yeah, so I did I did this for about five different video runs that had the, the whip cracker in the appropriate position. The best one, the fastest that I was able to find was about 680 feet per second. A That's little bit slower than the speed of the sound. Speed of sound. Speed of sound is yeah. 1,116 yeah. feet per second at sea level, which yeah. we were about. But we could only calculate maximum speed about 600. So the best uh, frames that I had, we had shot at 480 frames a second. Unfortunately, we can't go back in time and speed that stuff up. And it was actually a little bit tricky to get the, the motion of the whip in the right place in the frame so we could actually see what we were doing. I think that the problem, the reason we didn't see it breaking the speed of sound, because we look at the high speed version of this, the cracking sound is definitely there. That is very clearly caused by small sonic booms. I think that the problem is that we actually weren't capturing enough frames. So we were seeing the acceleration and deceleration within one two thousandth of a second frame. The action happened between the frames. Between the frames. So another way to calculate this, if we want to see if something actually moved faster than the speed of sound, is at 960 frames per second, we need to see at least 1.16 feet of movement in the, between two frames, two sequential frames. Yeah, because that, that's how, exactly, if you multiply that out by uh, two, one thousandth of a second, basically, that's what you yes. get. Yes, and at 480 FPS, we need to see about double that, about two and a half feet of movement, and the most we saw... About 1.35 feet, uh, more or less. Unfortunately, the shots that we had at 960 frames a second weren't good enough to see actually what was happening and catch the speed of sound being broken by the end of the whip, and I think the 480 frames per second shots, too much motion happens between each frame. But uh, whipping a bull whip, cracking, still looks cool. Yeah, and, and at least we learned how to do that. So we'll be back with more from Tested. I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys later. Bye. Here, bring the hat to me. Hold on a sec. Ow! Oh, oh, <laughs> that hurt. <laughs>